is Tom Cat here with Bob McKinney. Hello. Where were you on the night of June 3rd, 1973? Um, I think I was in another body. It's possibly um, Frank Zappa's on the uh, Sunset Strip. You know, probably somewhere around Cahunga. Oh, very nice, very nice. <laughs> Bob here is a, a Earth native, uh, but originally from not Los Angeles. Uh, Philadelphia. Well, uh, like 15 minutes outside of Philadelphia, a uh, small town called Glen Olden, Pennsylvania. Glen Olden. Is that, uh, is that west of uh, Philly? South. Oh. South, um, southwest, I guess. Yeah. We're still trying to book a show west of Philly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but we don't know who to hit up. And every I've hit up like thirty people, and most of them have ignored us. Actually, somebody's supposed to be on it. But Try Westchester, maybe. Westchester? Yeah, maybe. Might get a little luck there. I don't know. They have some bars that are usually looking for shoes. That's where um, Bam Margera's from. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'll be a son of Sam. Someone's and jamming out over there. Oh yeah, it'll yeah. get really loud in here in a few yeah. minutes. Um, sometimes it's hard to concentrate. But what else is new? Um. So you're you're uh. An actor by trade. Yes, yes, that's correct. Uh, <laughs> I, um, w- what else is new with my acting, you mean? Oh, no, I just meant what else is new with people being loud in here. Oh, people being loud in here. Oh, um, I don't know. That's the first time being here, but it seems pretty loud. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I am an actor by trade. Uh, just recently, uh, about a year... And like three months ago, I guess moved up moved up to uh, Los Angeles to kind of start trying to pursue it. So oh, nice! Seriously, so yeah. When when did you start acting, or when you were like, I'm gonna use this to cope with my multiple personalities? <laughs> uh, can they pick up that? No, the mic. No, it's no. I keep okay. it at a certain level. Right, well, um, Sometimes it does. Yeah, so um, when I first realized I wanted to be an actor, um, I guess I was in um, Mr. Allison's English class, and Allison Jenkins came up to me and asked me to be in the play because she heard me singing a Frank Sinatra song, and they needed someone who could kind of sing for a role, and uh, so I was Bert, Healy, and Annie, and uh, it was just like, I just really enjoyed it, and... um, the reaction, like from the audience and stuff, you know, people seem to like it. So, oh, cool. Yeah, and I was hooked. I guess. Yeah. Do you, Do you still do um, musical? Uh, ask like, do you still sing? Or no, do I, I for fun, but no, I don't. Um, I don't particularly like to sing when I'm acting. Actually, it's okay. <laughs> it's actually my least favorite form of acting to do, but it's the one. It's, it's the only ones where I've actually like received praise or like oh. nominations for things is when I'm uh, singing. So. So if you're watching this funny. and you want to torture Bob. Mm. Try and book him for your musical and see if he turns it down or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, that's cool. And then uh, you said you, you you were doing some recent projects lately out here in yeah the yeah City I just, of um, Angels. Just uh, finished uh, two short films for the uh, New York Film Academy. Uh, one for um, this girl named Melanie. Uh, sorry, Melanie, I forget your last name. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that one just came out. It's actually pretty good. I enjoyed it a lot. It was uh, called uh, Wishes in a Bottle, and um, I think it's on YouTube or something. Oh, yeah. I think I, that was, was that the one that was on your uh, yeah, it was on my Facebook page. page. I started yeah. watching it, and then I was pried away from, like, I started watching it, circles. and it sucked, so I just... Started watching it, and I was just like, good Lord, like, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to respect this man if no, I watch <laughs> any further than these past 30 seconds. No, yeah, I was pretty terrible in the beginning and the end, but the middle, there's uh, there's something worth checking out I mean, that, there, that's yeah. the peak anyway. No, it was okay, yeah. No, I'm totally going to watch it. I just, like, <laughs> no, it's get right, distracted. No, right. I mean, not so much yeah. distracted as busy. Yeah. So there's... Uh, it's on my to-do list. So there's that one, and there's this... Um, Short film by the name of uh, Catching Up, done by uh, Barry Galperin. He asked me to uh, mention his name so people can look him up on Facebook. Or, Barry uh, Galperin? Yeah, Barry Galperin. Uh, G-A-L-P-E-R-I-N. Uh, you can look him up on Facebook. and uh, Sounds like a tire brand or something. <laughs> and at Barry.Galperin on Instagram. And he's going to be uh, updating as to when the uh, film is getting close to being finished. They're still editing it right now, but... Uh, what kind of what kind of film is it? 
Uh, it's a, I'm actually really excited about it. It's um, it's a short film about uh, two uh, two childhood friends reconnecting after a long time, and uh, one of the uh, one of the friends is an actor who's been in uh, Los Angeles for a year. Uh, that's the role I, I originally auditioned for, but I was eventually cast as the uh, best friend role. Oh, okay. Yeah, so um, uh, the this guy, um, Jim, who's um, played by Andrew Tripodi, who's a very talented actor who I had the pleasure of working with, um, uh, comes at, back home from California for so the summer, and he's visiting me, and I'm trying to... I noticed that he's kind of down in the dumps, and I try to lift him out of uh, out of his uh, slump. And then uh, throughout the course of the film, we try to. Um, the way I try to do that is I try to get him to help me reconnect with a girl from high school, which I always had a crush on. Um, and he was like more of a ladies' man in high school, so Uh-oh. that kind of gives me the tips and uh, like you know coaches me in the way that I should uh, go after this girl. <laughs> and then eventually, um, I, s- I see where this is going. Yeah, eventually, but, but eventually but you find out that um, through some other circumstances that I never had a chance with her to begin with, and it was like a wild goose chase. And he becomes extremely angry and divulges a secret about his past. Uh oh, their just recent past, which is uh, quite shocking. And uh, my reaction uh, to it ensues, and then we uh, sounds like a pretty. Uh like an emotional roller coaster type of thing. Yeah, it's a bit bit of an emotional <laughs> roller coaster, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. To a degree of just yeah. things going this way, that way, or no, yeah, it should be um, building the tension. I think it's gonna be good. We had a really talented uh, director of photography, uh, Jacob Souza, on it, so I think it's I think it's gonna look uh, pretty cool. And so it's just up to me and Andrew to see what we brought to the table, I guess. Nice. Yeah. And you could uh, find that at your local AMC theaters uh, <laughs> coming out. <laughs> Coming out uh, as a double feature <coughs> with Dr. Quacks. Um, yeah, sorry for the cough, man. I I just got over a horrible like two week cold. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Well, glad you brought it here. <coughs> no, <laughs> just kidding. It's pretty wide open. I think the guy next to us will probably get uh, infected before you will. So. We can only pray. <laughs> we can only pray that it's that son of a bitch, Phil. <laughs> We can only pray it's either him or Cat that gets infected first and dies. So those are those are those are two films. You said you did three. Uh, those were two, and um, there's a third. Oh, sorry. There, those were two, and then there's a third project that I did that actually just came out uh, two days ago on uh, Channel 33 out here in Los Angeles and in uh, San Diego. It's a public access uh, television program. Uh, Produced by uh, Donald Briggs, and uh, it has a, it's it's a monologue competition where actors come and they perform monologues, and uh, they're then critiqued by a panel of three judges. And um, I think I think I did pretty well on it. Uh, I'm still waiting to hear like after the last show they're going to announce who the winners were. The top three it was out of 30, so uh, I'm still hoping to see what comes out of that. And uh, uh, one in, uh, thing that I really enjoy that came out of that was uh, I met my uh, current acting teacher uh, Barry um, Barry Papik, oh, cool. who is also uh, is uh, Alec Baldwin's acting coach. Oh, very cool. Yeah, yeah. So you know he's good. <laughs> I, I mean, he's all right. <laughs> he's <pretty Yeah>. cool. <laughs> no, but, nah, Barry's a Barry's a good guy, and he's a talented actor, and uh, he was in Private Parts and um, uh, several other motion pictures and. Uh, he's currently doing a uh, a webisode uh, called um, Newsies and uh, one about psych- psychopathic clowns, which I can't remember the name of. I'm sorry. Oh but, wow, uh, that one sounds good though. No, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's, it's really interesting. He was showing it to me the other day, and um, but yeah, no, he's for that. he's a great teacher. And uh, tell I him you want in on that one. What? Tell him you want in on yeah, that no, one. Yeah, no, I should, I should, yeah, but yeah. So he's a great teacher, and um, just start showing up with clown yeah. makeup. Yeah, just start showing the class the clown makeup on. Yeah, like, Barry, what? Come on, man. Let's like really, yeah, like really <laughs> angry and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds cool. So a monologue off. I never heard of that. Yeah, no, it's a kind of an interesting concept. I think he's gonna change the format next year to be um, more uh, scene directed with um, actors who do scenes together, and uh, yeah, there's gonna be a, like a more of a. Um, 
critique of the scene as a whole and uh, rather than just one individual actor. So I think that'd be interesting. Uh, might start to stay in contact with him, maybe appear on that next year, but yeah.